one of the things I've, I've had to face that a white mayor would not have had to face was, was fear, and in some cases, overt hostility. Uh, in that respect, I've had to spend time on allaying those fears and trying to make people part of a common effort in our town that, that a white mayor would not have had to do. His energies would not have been dissipated in that manner. I just hope that whoever runs for mayor of Atlanta understands that, that, uh, that the honor and the status is, is a very small portion of the duties and responsibilities of a mayor and that there could not be a more difficult undertaking that that person could be uh, voluntarily seeking than to want to become mayor of a major city in the United States. We had the, uh, the problem of my being black and most councilmen being white. Of how do they criticize me, for instance, without being uh, termed racist? And, and we've had to work that through until now today, of course. A councilman attacks me. He attacks me because I'm not doing right. Although sometimes, you know, so it makes me wish for the days when he was afraid to attack me. <laughs> Now that the election is over, and Mr. Nixon is our president, that uh, uh, he has made some, surprise, to me, surprising moves in the areas for which I have great concern. Uh, I've been pleasantly surprised, for instance, when he uh, responded to our plea from the Conference of Mayors to establish the, urban con the Council on Urban Affairs and giving it a cabinet-level position and then getting an indisputed urbanologist like uh, Pat Marnahan to head it up. And then as he has moved forward with an unquestioned uh, dedicated person like James Farmer and giving him a significant position and picking up uh, former Fresno Mayor Floyd Hyde and making him in charge of the Model Cities program. All of these are extreme pluses so far as I see it. And